We are here at Minnesota State women's hockey head coach John Harrington following the Mavericks 5-3 setback against Bemidji State on Saturday afternoon at Verizon Center. Uh, coach Harrington, what's your opening statement about the team's performance today? Well, you know, I think we started the game pretty well. We knew uh, Bemidji State was going to come out hard after losing the game yesterday, and we had to be ready to, you know, counter that uh, effort they had out there and I thought we did a great job in the first period but you know the second period it just kind of got away from us and we got caught in a couple of outnumbered uh, rush situations which uh, they scored I think you know the first four shots of the period I think three went in for them you know and all of a sudden it was a three to one deficit and um, you know we, we've got a you know, one there, their goalie got taken out of the play and, and, and had kind of an open net, but but we've got to get a save on uh, on one of those other ones. And um, give our team credit. You know, we came back in the third period and battled back there and and uh, with, a, with a couple of goals. But um, we got to play both ends of the ice really well. And I think, like I told our team after the game, you know, it's a, we just – weren't good enough from any part of our game from the from the from the goal crease to the blue line to the to the front lines I mean it's all three areas were a little bit lacking today and ended up costing us the game uh, coach uh, saw the positives in the third period there with the you know fighting back in those goals uh, Demi Gardner scored one now you know her sister Mariah got the assist for her first career point uh, they look like they have some chemistry out there this weekend especially you know with Corbin at center uh, can you talk about that a little bit yeah, you know, we changed that line this week. You know, we were looking at the, the, the Gardner sisters, you know, Mariah and Demi, and they're playmaking, and they're, the, they're people like hanging onto the puck and playing give and go and moving the puck. And, you know, Corbin has that little bit of thought in her mind, too. She kind of plays that way where she understands she likes setting people up. She likes giving the puck to somebody and then going and getting it back. So we thought they had some pretty good chemistry this weekend. I, um, you know, Demi scored the goal there, got the goal by hanging onto the puck, and Mariah's strong on the puck, and, and, and she really thinks the game well. So um, they were good for us this weekend, and uh, I'm glad uh, Mariah got on the scoreboard uh, with the assist, and certainly glad for Demi. She deserved to score a goal. You know, and then Jordan McLaughlin uh, scored for the second day in a row. Yesterday she got the empty netter, but today a uh, beautiful deflection off uh, a shot from Megan Hinsey from the point. Uh, you know, Jordan leads the team in goals now of eight, but a lot of her goals have come earlier in the year. She hasn't scored in a while, but now she's got a couple this weekend. Uh, is, that, is that big for her confidence going forward? Well, I hope so. You know, we need some other people on our team thinking that same way, and we had a kind of a dry spell there for a while for a number of weeks where we were having a trouble scoring goals, and we hadn't heard from Jordan for a while on the score sheet, but uh, you know, she's uh, got the empty netter yesterday and then got that nice tip in today. She was around the front of the net and uh, we just got to get those people shooting the puck more. If we want to score goals, we've got to shoot the puck. We've got to get to the net. And uh, hopefully some of the other players that are, you know, not had as much success scoring will will take lessons from the players that are scoring and we can kind of improve our goal scoring ability. What are the uh, takeaways from this series going into next week? Well, you know, we made some turnovers that you just can't coach, you know. I mean, it's not like we've... You know, we look at the game and say, hey, there was a certain part of the game that they dominated. I mean, there was there was stretches of the game. I know late in the second period there, maybe the last five minutes, uh, we, we, we pretty much carried the play. But, I mean, we have to develop that consistency and, you know, and just can't have the turnovers of just where we just lose the puck or, or, or have a situation where we get caught with our three forwards deep where we have an outnumbered rush going the other way because it just puts a lot of pressure on our defense to try to stop those rushes.